This is Benchmark, Southwest Transit proposal for a newly developed marketing team to create a marketing campaign to celebrate the new Boeing 747 lineup and other marketable products or offerings Southwest Transit hopes to provide its customers. The business has just six weeks to create a team and implement the marketing campaign, so it has asked my team to collaborate on selecting a group of four already employed marketing professionals to take on the task. Time is of the essence and the need is dire, so we developed this proposal. This proposal presentation will outline who the selected four members are and why, what the strengths and weaknesses are of the team selected so they are better managed through the process, a set of comprehensive strategies to help leadership guide the team in motivating them to see this project through, mitigating conflicts, and what leadership style would best drive the results the business desires while fostering collaboration. Explain from a conscious capitalism perspective why this team was selected, how tenant of stakeholder orientation played a role in the team selection and its impact on the stakeholders themselves. Lastly, I will go over the ways this team positively impacts the business as a whole. In selecting the team members, the main focus was to choose the marketing professionals that were the most open to work with others and who has the most conscious capital to share with the group. When our leadership group made our choices, these four candidates were unanimously chosen as the most qualified candidates to head this campaign for Southwest Transit. The first of the four team members, Elizabeth, was selected due to her outstanding problem-solving skills and attention to detail. Her ability to conduct thorough research and adhere to deadlines makes her a key player in addressing complex challenges. Elizabeth's collaborative nature and openness to different perspectives contribute significantly to team effectiveness. Susan was chosen for her strong teamwork capabilities and creative energy. Her ability to build trusting relationships and generate innovative ideas aligns well with the project's dynamic requirements. Susan's motivation to make a meaningful impact ensures her dedication to high quality outcomes. William was included for his extensive experience and expertise, which are vital for guiding the project and ensuring high quality deliverables. His positive and non-confrontational attitude fosters a supportive team environment, facilitating smooth project execution. William's motivation to tackle challenges, challenging tasks when he perceives their relevance further enhances his contributions. Ian, was selected for his technical proficiency and creative problem-solving abilities. His skills in innovation and efficiency help streamline project processes and enhance productivity. Ian's focus on achieving efficient outcomes and his tech savviness make him an essential contributor to the project's success. When we were selecting the final four, the most difficult member to select was Ian. Ian was the hardest choice out of the four as he was the most confrontational and would require management to help smooth things over. His abrasiveness and self-motivational personality may rub the team the wrong way long term unless roles and expectations are well defined up front. Considering the options and as long as no one member dominates decision making and all are open to each other's ideas and diverse backgrounds, this is the best option possible. We are 90% confident in a successful campaign and meeting the deadline required. The strengths and weaknesses of the team. The strengths of the team, the team is well-rounded with diverse backgrounds and personalities. Each member capable of working well with others as long as expectations and roles are well-defined. Team is creative, driven for achievement, and could all use a clear sense of purpose beyond the day-to-day. -day. Majority of the team thrives under defined projects and will be effective under a sharp deadline. The weaknesses of the team. The team members tend to overlook details when pressured to finish projects. If William does not take on the leadership role, other members do not aspire to lead as much as they want to participate and share their ideas. If William is a leader, he could potentially fold under conflict. However, if conflict does arise, Elizabeth should be the one to take the lead to resolute that conflict.
Motivational theory. Once the team is assembled, management will need to get the group to bond and figure out what exactly drives and motivates each team member to understand how and what will get them to do the optimal work. The first thing the management team should do is have each member complete a core self-evaluation on themselves, share the results amongst the team, assess those results in notes, and in turn utilize those results to identify the appropriate motivational need of each member. From there, they should use the acquired need theory to identify each member's basic need, whether that is achievement, affiliation, or power. This process will help management to work through the diverse factors that may impact the individual's behaviors to mitigate any negative behaviors like being condescending, driving morale down, or being confrontational. It will also help to highlight individuals' positive behaviors that could help the team out such as individuals driven by working for recognition, feeling a sense of accomplishment, or finding motivation through a challenge. Conflict Resolution Strategy The conflict resolution strategy best suited to combat any dissension amongst the team is the integration negotiation theory. This theory is also known as the win-win negotiation, in which the two parties work together to come up with a resolution that is mutually beneficial in the end. It provides a platform for individuals with a disagreement to work through the problem as a team and respectfully hear each other's interests on the subject at hand and collaboratively share options or resolution. Once the issue has been discussed and both parties have listened to one another, described what and why they have an idea of a resolution, they ultimately work together to find a resolution they both can agree on. This will develop respect amongst the group allow for honest dialogue, and for diverse thoughts to be heard equally and fairly. Leadership Strategy The leadership strategy best suited to guide this team in their marketing efforts is the democratic leadership theory. This leadership strategy will allow for group autonomy, providing the individuals to have an increase in group engagement that will in turn motivate some of the members to step up and be heard equally. This strategy allows for diverse perspectives and gives everyone an opportunity to lead where they feel most comfortable leading to help build community, confidence, and allow for innovation. As a manager of this team, it is important to first create clear tasks and expectations up front in order to allow this strategy to be of its peak. It is also important for some members of the team to be acknowledged for their achievements and successes along the way to completion. Conscious Capitalism When selecting the team, we had to identify the needs of the business, the needs, wants of the employees selected, and understand the diverse personalities and backgrounds of these options. We needed to create a team with like-minded goals to achieve more, and we needed to foster individuals who are willing to work with others for the greater good of the business. Create a team that can bond under circumstance, personal motivational factors, and the enjoyment of working with others and being recognized for achievement beyond their daily roles. Creating opportunities for leadership, mentorship, and being able to create out-of-the-box ideas to solve for problems. Value created for stakeholders. For Elizabeth, this is an opportunity to be seen as a great asset to the marketing team through the success of this campaign for promotional opportunities. This will also provide her an opportunity to fulfill her desire to make business decisions with the best interest of the business and customers at the forefront. For Susan, she gains an opportunity to express her creative side and feel a sense of community and a state of belonging she may be lacking being only with the company for a year. This project can help align her with a long-term vision or goal for herself since she currently does not have one. For William, this project will get him out of his day-to-day -day monotony he finds lackluster. It will give him motivation to succeed as he enjoys recognition. This will deliver him one last opportunity to make a big impact before retiring. For Ian, this project will help keep him active and stimulated in his job. He can harness his creative and tech-savvy skills to be an asset. This will provide him an opportunity to garner some sense of self-achievement when completed. For the customers, once the marketing campaign is launched, customers will gain competitive options that will provide for them a more equitable opportunity to fly. 
It will give them comfort and value in knowing that their money can go that much further. It will provide the customers with opportunities for earning rewards or future discounts with Southwest Transit and being a loyal customer to them and their product. For the society, society gains a company seeking to not only earn a profit, but to also be consciously aware of how they are impacting the world around them in the process. With innovation comes new and exciting ways to cut back on their footprint and impact on the communities around them. This campaign will push Southwest Transit to consider more philanthropy work and to adhere to stronger compliances in order to earn a perception of doing good for the community and world as a whole. The impact on the business. This campaign will impact the business in creating avenues for career growth for the next generation of leaders of the business. Create a marketing strategy that will establish customer brand loyalty long term. Help to highlight the new Boeing 747 lineup and create a differentiation factor amongst its competitors. Saves the business on ROI of the current employees versus hiring new employees or going through an outside source. It avoids layoffs and a reduction in company morale. It'll boost company morale and allow for long-term stability. It'll give customers a value-added product to provide lasting impacts on their experiences and put their competitors on notice. Creating new marketing strategies will also drive for innovation on ways to create a more sustainable product in value and an impact on the society it serves.